Good morning, class. Name's Captain Jim Jericho. I've seen a thing or two, and I wouldn't advise any of it. All right, now that we got that out of the way, I need you all to sit down, shut up, and pay attention. Could be a test at the end of this. Though, likely not. More or less, this information might save your keister out there when you're in the thick of it. All right, so we're going to be talking about scout fighters. Let's get on with this. Scout fighters. Scout fighters are used to screen bigger starships and collect additional scan data. By design, scouts' weaponry is limited, even though their size is the same as other space superiority fighters. Instead of multiple weapon mounts, a scout fighter sports extra light powerful sensor arrays, extended fuel tanks, and atmospheric wings. Their primary weapon is always used for self-defense only, since the purpose of the scout is not to defeat an enemy, but locate it. Remember that. You ain't gonna go out there and try to take on the world, or the universe, in a scout. Just spot them, get the hell out. Now some scouts, uh, some fighters, are also equipped with top-of-the-line engines giving them the much-needed edge and speed. So, if you happen to be alone the lucky ones that have that extra speed, you definitely turn tail and run once you spot them. Let your troops know. In stark contrast with most navies, Terran scouts often carry jury-rigged fuel pods, sensor decoys, and even long-range missiles. The industrious humans and their clientele often make use of battlefield salvage and construct uh, their scouts out of. Yeah, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. If you got spare parts, make it work. Scout squadrons employed by the Colonial Navy are a force recon type unit, and as such, their wings are more numerous and often accompanied by retrofitted shuttlecrafts. Now, these shuttlecrafts uh, provide a uh, refuel and rearm type mission and can uh, always pick up an ejector pilot if need be. Now, We'll go through the whole surviving out in open space uh, if you ever have to eject at a later date. Right now, we just want to get through this. No, put your hand down in the back. We're not answering those questions yet. Shut up. Sit down. Listen. Thank you. Now, according to the Terran Combat Doctrine, the space fighter's secondary objective is to destroy the enemy counterparts, you know, the other scouts. Therefore, mitigating the enemy fleet's ability to detect any possible ambushes. So, if you see them, kill them quick. Now, I know I say you're not meant to defeat an enemy, but the other scouts are going to be just as weak and vulnerable as you. So, if you can get a drop on them, do it. Fire pilots of the Colonial Navy's fly the scouts as if they were pilot and standard fighters. Uh, of course, why wouldn't they? The fact that these ships aren't really heavily armed means nothing to the experienced pilot of the Terran Monarchy. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Who the hell wrote this? Oh, well. A fleet or a carrier without a scout is vulnerable. Means they're blind and they can get overwhelmed easily. That's what makes a scout so valuable. Now, Colonial Navy pilots often use their superior skills accumulated during the years of piloting other scout fighters to a devastating effect. It means they're very tricky. Uh, the uh, scout wings make use of their scan arrays to trick enemies by creating ghost targets. See? Told you it's tricky. And many times, outright confusing and overpowering the enemy sensor operators, giving their allies a much needed edge in combat. Now, the elite Colonial Navy Scout Wings are deployed in long-range interception missions with objectives to take out the enemy strike crafts, bombers, and even drop ships carrying them star troopers. Now, those are the ones you really want to watch out for. Now, civilians, of course, make use of scout fighters uh, in their more versatile roles as a patrol craft. And of course, they do with other things as well, which we're going to cover here. The Terran spaces uh, have specially modified their scout fighters, whom they use as explore to, uh, exploration vessels. Heavily modified scout fighters are often sent to explore distant star systems and scan stellar phenomena. 
more of those egghead types. The clear distinction between the space-born scout fighter and, and a universal one is the additional uh, of the atmospheric wings. Now, those allow the ship to spend much less fuel while descending in the atmosphere of an unknown planet, uh, expanding the uh, craft's range. Now, no matter the Navy, the scout fighters are an integral part of any space force where the sensors can be tricked or defeated by clever use of electronic warfare, a pair of eyes uh, is still invaluable. So, if you go out there and we're going to practice with these scout fighters, flying them around, no, they're not going to be armed. Put your hand down. I see I'm going to have a problem with you. Alrighty, so we're just going to get in there, we're going to fly them around, we're going to get comfortable with them. We'll go over the other details later. Of course, it's all going to be simulated. Can't trust you nubs to go out there and the real thing. Alrighty, good. Well, then you're dismissed. <laughs>